solve for x where x is to be between 0 and 2 pi. So I want to use algebra and also the graphical understanding to solve this. Now if suppose you got basically the question is these are two graphs say if this is your first equation and this is your second equation so let me explain this graphically suppose say y1 is 18 sine x so from this you can know the maximum is 18 the minimum is minimum is minus 18 your baseline is 0 so this is oscillating between 0 sorry minus 18 and plus 18 so uh, and your period is 2 pi so your period so period is important here of course period is 2 pi so for a period of 2 pi you have got a maximum of 18 and minimum of minimum is minus 18 and your baseline is 0 and so <coughs> your amplitude is minimum is minus 18 now for the second equation say on the right hand side you got say second equation y2 is say 11.5 cos x plus 21 cos x plus 21 so what does that mean your baseline is so let's start with baseline your baseline is 21 your amplitude is 11.5 so your maximum would be how much your maximum is 11 plus amp sorry 21 plus 11.5 which is 32.5 and your minimum is 21 minus 9.5 sorry 11.5 which is 9.5 okay and again your period is 180 I've already drawn use a graphic calculator to draw that so first let me show you the graphical meaning of this 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 is y1 and this is y2 so okay so this is the graph so this is the cos graph 11 11.5 cos 6 plus 21 so this is your cos graph and this is your sine graph so basically the question is what are these points of intersection where are they intersecting and from this you can see your answer is between 0 and pi which is 3.14 so if you understand graphically you m you can understand the algebra behind it so <coughs> let's go back to the question so we want to use algebra to so let me delete this first okay so so the question is you want to solve for x between 0 and 2 pi but we know graphically now the solution is going to be between 0 and okay uh, so I don't can't go any further so let me bring it back so it's good to have these facts before us okay okay and your minimum is 9.5 okay so let's solve this so this is algebra so this is 18 sine of x is equal to 11.5 cos x plus 21 now the big problem is you have got sine and cos you have to write either in sine or cos now the problem is there's no relationship between sine and cos as it is but you know this you should know this identity which is sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1 now from if you make you can make either one of them as the subject so i can say sine squared x sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared so i may need this formula later on so I can't change from sine to cos but I can change from sine squared to cos squared so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides so if you square this side you can also square this side so this becomes 18 sine x let me write it again sine x the whole squared 
is equal to this is 11.5 cos x plus 21 times the same thing again 11.5 cos x plus 21. So, expanding this, I hope you can 18 squared is how much? 324 sine squared x is equal to 11.5 cos x times 11.5 cos x is 132.25 cos squared x. You can do the simple expansion yourself and then <coughs> this is 11.5 times 21 plus 21 times 11.5 cos x. That will simplify to, I am di directly writing the answer, that will be 483. You can pause this video and try to re do the remaining bit. This is a bit of algebra plus 40, 441. Okay, now what can we do? So this implies, I am going to change this into cos squared because I can see a cos squared here, I can see a cos. So, I can change this sine squared into cos squared. So, this is 324 times 1 minus cos squared x is equal to 132.25 cos squared x plus 483 cos x plus 441. Okay, so now if you simplify this, I don't want to spend time, you can do the simplifying yourself. If you make cos squared the subject or cos the subject and if you simplify and write in a quadratic form, you will end up with 456.25 cos squared x plus 483 cos x, 483 cos x plus 117. Okay, again you can pause this video and try to get to this step yourself. Okay, now so let me drag it up. So this implies what will you get? So this has become a quadratic equation. So <coughs> if you can let this as m, okay, so your cos is cos of x is m. So if this is m, this is m squared. So, we can say this is 456.25 m squared plus 483 m plus 117 is equal to 0. So, you can use the quadratic formula or your graph, go to solver, go to uh, equation polynomial second degree. I can say m will end up with two values, rounding it to rounding it to 2 dp, sorry 4 dp is 0 0.3752. So, let me show this on a calculator how to do this. I have already drawn this. Go to equations, okay, and then go to polynomial second degree. So, type in 456 point, sorry, 456.25 under A under B you can type in 483 and under C you have to type in 117 and then solve it. So, these are the two values minus 0 0.3752 and 6833, 6834. Okay, so, your other value of M is minus 0 0.6834. So, this means or this implies you can say cos x or cos of x is equal to minus 0 0.3752 or cos x is equal to minus 6, 0 0.6834. Now, you will get four solutions. Now, we are going to accept only the solution which is between 0 and. So, let me show, get, go back to my diagram. So, we are interested in these two points. We are interested in this point and this point. We are looking at this point and graphically you can see 
this is less, both the values are less than pi or 3.14. So, we're going to solve it and accept the values which are less than pi or 3.14. Okay, so let me scroll this up, yeah. So, now, <coughs> so x would be equal to, let me use my calculator, go to graph. Okay, so let me delete this and also delete this. So, the basically, I got yes, delete F1. So, type in cos of x or cos x like this. I need to change the scale of 0 to 2 pi and I'll go from say minus 2 to plus 2 and then draw the graph. So, this is your cos graph and you want to find what are the values of x when x uh, when your y value is 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3752. So, g sol x calc minus 0 0.3752. One value will be less than pi and the other value will be. So, this is less than pi which is and this is greater than pi. So, I am going to accept only one value which is 1.96. So, from this you can say you can see x1 is 1.9696 and here x2 will be again we want to find the x value when y is minus 0 0.6834. So, again go to gsol x calc when y is minus 0 0.6834 am I right? Yeah, 6, 8, Three, four, enter. And if you scroll, this is greater than 3.14. So, I am not accepting this. I am accepting 2.32. So, x2 is 2.32. So, these are the two solutions using algebra. But interestingly, you can do this whole thing using your graphic calculator. So, you should know these facts to draw the graph. So, your maximum is 32.5 and your minimum is minus 18. So, let us do this graphically also. So, let me delete this. So, the first equation is 18 sin x and the second equation is 11.5 cos x plus 21. So, now we know the maximum minimum uh, execute. Okay, so we need to change the scale. I will go from 0 to 2 pi. This is 2 pi and I will have to go from say minus 35, no sorry, minus 20 because your minimum is minus 18. So, I am going from minus 20 to 35. Execute to 35, scale of 5 would do. So, this is, these are the two graphs. So, this is your sine graph and this is your cosine graph. Now, these are the two points we want to find. So, go G sol and intersection. This is 1.96 and if you press this, you know it is 2.32. So, these are the two solutions. Or, one more thing, if you want to see, this is the most interesting part. If you want to see this in detail, you can go to zoom and go to box and you can if you scroll this, I will show you how you can make a box because the most interesting part, so let me go to the left. Okay, so go execute and then go to the right, execute, scroll down. So, I want to see only this part. Okay, I think this is what I want to see and then go to execute. Can you see these two graphs? this is your cos graph and this is your sine graph. So, can you see this is going above this graph? Okay, so, here these are the two points, so G sol and intersection, 1.95 and 6 point. So, one more thing that I want to discuss is, so let me go back to the graph. Yeah, this seems to be, so this, this sine graph is always below, suppose this sine graph will be above this cos graph for this interval. This is 
this is one what was the answer 1.96 this is 1.96 and this is 2 point this is how much 2.32 so for this interval this sine graph is going to be above the cos graph okay for this interval in other words this graph is above this cos graph for this interval for the remaining part it's always less than that